Hey guys, it's Margaret. I left you a message, Tommy, on your phone and said that I had um, gotten somebody else to film this for me this afternoon because I was worried I wasn't going to be able to make my appointment of 4.45 this afternoon because of being in Bluffton all afternoon. But I did get back just in the nick of time. So I'm here, a couple things while I'm outside. So the home is uh, has this, neat little ravine right here and so before you get to 10 Marblehead I guess um, so you have this nice distance between the houses and you have a, a one-car garage but they have made like um, three little rocky places where you can park plus you can stack the cars up in the driveway so there's a lot of parking here in this little little spot and um the street is really cute. You know, this is not a gated community. This is old woodlands and it's kind of back behind a, a warehouse section of the island. It's, it's just kind of normal. It's, you know, it's not all, all, uh, it's not like, uh, vacation-y. It's like a normal neighborhood, a normal street. And everything isn't so like cookie cutter man manicured. It's, it's, uh, well kept but it's it's just it's got a, a little character you know and so there's that porch that has a side door on it and i'm going to show you that in just a second but we'll go uh we'll just go right inside and then that other house is right there again you've got distance between the homes here not right they're not right just on top of each other and then All right, so I'm in the kitchen, obviously. That's a kitchen kind of, I wonder if these people are chefs. <laughs> they have kitchen equipment in their home. So um, I think uh, the kitchen is rather dated, obviously. So that would be something you could work on. Wallpaper is dated. wonder if, you, I mean, if you really wanted to, you could blow that wall out and just make make the kitchen and the dining area one big room because the dining area is really large. So you could kind of make a kitchen and a dining space here that's more of one room. And then your living room, again, pretty dated. They did redo the... Um, fireplace though that's all new <coughs> I have a really annoying scratchy throat and a dry cough so I apologize this room is kind of cool um, I'm trying to decide which side to go um, sorry guys, because I'm trying to get out of here on my scheduled time. I didn't pre-open the doors. That, this out here, is a side yard that has a fence. Sorry, you probably can't see that. I'm going to try and find myself in the backyard in just a second. We'll finish going through the house. So from the living room, it's kind of interesting because you have a door here that leads to a bedroom right from this living room. I feel like maybe this house had been added onto. Uh, either that or just built in a time where they weren't doing quite the, just the one big open concept room. So it's, it's a little choppy. Um, but it's got a lot of character. So you have the vanity here. Shower in the middle. And then another vanity and toilet on this side. 
so that this bedroom here, okay, I get it. So the two rooms share the shower, but they have their own vanity and toilet space. And you have a closet for washer and dryer. This is um, wallpaper. And it's it looks like that grassy cloth stuff, but it's not. And then you have two closets here that go, oh, I see. You have two doors, but it's just one big closet. It goes through on both sides. The thing that's really noticeable about, about this house, because it, it does have a dated feel, is that it doesn't smell dated. <laughs> um, you know, it's not super musty. It's actually very clean smelling. And I imagine if this was their second home and they maybe they don't spend as much time here. I'm not really sure. Um, but Beth did say the, uh, excuse me, the listing agent said that, you know, this is their second home and um, they don't rent it out. So this is the master over on this side. Um, with its own. So, you know, you really could, the condition of the house is, is fine. I mean, it's, it's clean and it's, it looks like it's been maintained really well. So you could probably utilize, you know, using the home right away. Um, but you probably want to update it at some point. Here we go, maybe I can get out easier this way. Oops. Um, no, that's not easier. Okay. There's a curtain here in front of that door, and so it doesn't open all the way, and I can't open the door. <clears throat> Does this fireplace come out on the other side? No, it doesn't. Yeah, the doors are pretty sticky and it could be because of the humidity. Sometimes doors swell. Looks like they're having some work done, but I'm not quite sure what. So they've got fencing right off the decking here. And um, a ramp that goes down to the, oh look, they've got peppers. Wow, maybe they spend more time here if they've got, they're growing vegetables. Um, So this is just your little backyard and the windows to the living room. This is so fun for me, y'all. This is like off, you know, it's a little off the beaten path. So it's kind of, it's like normal. It has a, a normal fence thing that they don't allow in gated communities. It's so nice. But, you know, you could have a dog back here. I would love to live in this house. This would be fun with the dog. There's your neighbor over there. And then little stairs that go up to the other uh, doors that lead to the living room. It's got some, like I'm looking at this back door over here. So it's got some weather stripping that needs to be some wood, looks like it's got some wood rot and stuff, but you know, that's kind of common around here. It looks like they're having, they're already having the work done.
you know, this could work for you guys. This could work for you guys. It's, you know, all one level. Um, first floor entry. You know, the floor plan's a little funky. It's off the beaten path. It's got a fenced in yard. There's ample parking spaces for, you know, if you have family with you. I'm trying to lock the door. I'm gonna set the phone down one second. Okay. Um, I want to figure out, I guess you go to the, I guess you go outside to get into the garage. Oh, yes. So this door goes off the kitchen onto the front, little front patio, which is funky. It's a, got a trellis roof. You could grow Confederate jasmine up there if you wanted to. And this is the garage. Oh, there's that musty smell we miss. But it's a garage. It's supposed to be musty. All right, I don't have a light. Oh, yeah, I do. So, <clears throat> in tandem, you could get two cars in here. But lots of space for storing things too. Clearly, they use it as storage and just for one for one car. Okay. This is fun. I'm going to stop the video and go home and get on the Wi-Fi and upload this video and then I will send it to you. All right, bye.